Quinoa has quickly become one of the most popular healthy gluten-free grains because of its versatility. You can use it in a breakfast porridge, veggie burger. Today we're gonna make a delicious healthy salad. So the first step when you're cooking with quinoa is to rinse it and soak it adequately. There's a coating on it that can sometimes come off as a little bit of a bitter taste if you don't rinse it. So my quinoa is ready to go. I'm gonna add this to a small pot. And to this, I'll add one and a half cups water and a pinch of salt. So bring this mixture to a boil. I'm gonna cover it, reduce it to a simmer till the kernels are nice and tender and chewy, about 15 minutes. So while my quinoa is cooking, I'm gonna get my zucchini ready for sauteing. So I've been preheating my pan. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of olive oil and add the zucchini. I like to season it with a little bit of salt at the beginning. And give it a stir, but don't hassle it too much because you want it to develop that beautiful golden brown crust. Okay, my vegetables look beautiful. They smell great. I've got nice browning on the edges. So I'm gonna add my garlic at the end of cooking. Usually I add it at the beginning and that's when I'm sauteing at a more moderate temperature. But because we started so fast and furious, I didn't want my garlic to burn at all. So it's just gonna cook for about 30 seconds here at the end. My vegetable mixture is done, looking and smelling delicious. So just transfer this to a bowl and let it cool down slightly. Mmm. So while the quinoa finishes cooking, I'm gonna let this cool slightly before we assemble the salad. Ooh, it looks great. What you wanna do is just use a fork to go to the bottom of the pan and make sure that all the water has been absorbed, which it has. So I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl so that it'll cool a little bit faster before I mix it into my salad. And when I'm making quinoa, I like to make a really big batch because I find it's just such a great, healthy convenience food to have in your fridge at all times. Protein packed, full of nutrients, fiber. It's a good one to keep stocked. Okay, let's go assemble. So everything's ready to mix. We're just gonna put it on the finishing touches. First, we're gonna use the zest and juice of one lemon. I really, really encourage people to zest straight into their dish, whatever it happens to be, a batter, a salad, pot of pasta, because you don't lose any of the delicious essential oils, transferring it back and forth from the cutting board to your dish. Tap, 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 make sure you get it all out and then you go in for the juice. Give it a little roll and that helps get as much juice as possible out. Then I like to just squeeze like this, kind of catch the seeds in your hand. Second half, lemon. Now we're gonna add our mostly cooled quinoa. The reason you wanna let this cool off a little bit is that it will wilt the tender herbs. And this salad I think is great slightly warm, room temperature, chilled. It's just so versatile. Quinoa is a complete source of plant-based protein, so this salad is great on its own, or you can also pair it with something else on the side. Now, to finish this up, we're gonna add our herbs and our nuts. I have quarter cup of toasted pistachios, chopped. It's gonna add a really nice nuttiness. Three scallions, very thinly sliced. I think the scallion goes really nicely with the garlic, which we sort of mellowed out in the sauteing. And the finishing touch, my favorite, fresh mint, so invigorating. This really just wakes up any dish. I'm gonna leave a few of these little leaves behind for garnish, and then just roughly chop these. In we go. Mmm. The mint is very aromatic today. Give it a nice toss, a little bit more salt and pepper. So this is one of my go-to barbecue salads that I'll bring to backyard parties. Couple more scoops here. Lovely. Finishing touch, I'm gonna add my little tiny mint leaves that I was saving for garnish. This salad is just so beautiful, vibrant, green, and satisfying. So if you're looking for a new way to use quinoa, I can't wait for you to try this.